Hey everybody, this is Shockerings1000 here in Pointing for Duty, welcome you back to another episode of Pokemon Coliseum. You probably can tell by the tone of my voice, I do not sound too enthusiastic at the minute, because for one thing, I probably should have mentioned this when I did the first episode that I recorded today, that I am not in a happy mood, mainly because of the fact that one, I was scheduled for a driving lesson at half seven in the morning. I completely forgot because I honestly thought it was supposed to be tomorrow at half seven. And instead I had to, I missed my driving lesson. And I was, and I was able to move it over to half seven tomorrow. But then I get told that she can't do half seven because she'll be busy then. And yeah, personally, I'd be thinking, if you can't do half seven tomorrow, then why did you put me in for a session at that time? And and also, um, I even had to work today to cover a friend to do a bike session for a sports leader's job. And as I was biking down the road, I had a lorry go past me, and he completely drove in a puddle very fast, for no reason, and got me soaked. I really don't know why he was driving really fast in the puddle when he clearly saw me going past the puddle. But, yeah, he kept, he splashed me with that massive puddle and I was completely drenched and I had to work in wet clothes. Anyway, in the talk about that, in the last episode, we um, did some more battling of these trainers here in this building, and in this episode, we're going to be carrying on doing that. Starting off with bodybuilder Elodie, Elidi, sorry, with a Cacnea and a Tentacle. That's not cool! Because one thing, that tentacle should really be a tentacle. Just saying, because look, he's level 33. If he falls into a tentacle at level 25. I want to knock out that Capnia straight away. And yes, even though. Um, oh, come on! Even though Mistrevis is in hyper mode, he his hard gauge isn't well. His hard gauge is completely empty as a crocodile, so I can keep them at hyper mode now. And yeah, we have got doesn't affect Mistrevis number five now. But yeah. With my driving lessons, I finally got it sorted out at last. I really don't like being slouched about when it comes to booking a session one day and then the next day get told that I can't do it. I really don't like it when they keep doing that. Okay, tentacle is down, good. You turned the tables on me, sure did. Grr, done in, but how? What blind spot did you exploit? Uh, your mind? Because I think you're more born than mind. Uh, let's see, is there any items? No, there's no items hidden by hand there. Oh, we're on the roof now. Uh, right then. Let's talk to this guy. We just captured an intruder going inside that building and provided assistance. Huh. So that guy doesn't know we... Yeah, that guy doesn't know that we are an intruder as well. <laughs> so there's an intruder inside that build... inside the building. And they caught him. Right. Before I move any further, I just want to go ahead and heal up because uh, oh, and also save as well. Because mainly because of the fact that the next Pokemon battle that we got is a vital one. 
You want to make sure you're fully healed and save at this point. Wait. Hey, go, West. Can't get up the stairs. Hey, hey, hey. Sometimes I don't really understand Pokemon games that much because, like, you see your character running up the stairs, they hit the first, the second, then the fourth, then the sixth, and they keep skipping stairs every single time. And sometimes you even see their feet clipping right through the, um, the stairs. Even when they're not running, their feet are still clipping through the stairs. It even does it in Pokemon Sun and Moon as well. Alright. You want to make sure you're fully safe at this point, so now you go into this building. Darling, aren't you one of Duking's people? What made you think that you could cut, that you could simply waltz in here? Such a silly boy. Yeah, but where's Mia B? I'm taking him down. Take him down? After the beating you took? That's too funny. <laughs> you wait. I'm going to drive all of you out of this town. Ha <laughs> ha, oh, such a feisty boy. Don't tell me we have to take your Pokemon hostage to make you settle down like we did with you, King. What? Oh, it seems to be getting a lot of unexpected company today. But that's no excuse for being a bad host. Yeah. The minute you walk in here, you battle a mere B peon reef. This is like a mini boss battle, just to let you know. She starts off with a Remoray and a Spinarak. Spinarak, a new Pokemon, is a bug poison type. This is why I kept both Quackenor and Mishweavers in their shadow form. And we got a shadow Pokemon of Remoray. I don't know for definite of what Remoraid's stats are like, but believe me, Remoraid can be a useful Pokemon if used correctly. It can, um, if you level it up all the way up to level 30, he'll be able to evolve into Octillery. And Octillery will actually learn a signature move called Octosuka, which is a special water type move, which can have a chance of lowering your opponent's accuracy. Just letting you know. So, Straight away, I want to call Mistrevious, since I now know that it's a Shadow Pokemon here. There you go, Spinamak is down. And he got the Love Disc. In case you're wondering, Love Disc, I really have no idea why on earth is even created. But for one thing, when you look at Alomomola in the Alola region, it's the exact same design as Love Disc, yet they're not even connected as an evolution. Why? Why are they not connected as an evolution? Oh, this is a problem. I've got all males in my team. Uh, yeah, because um, obviously Luftus can have Swift Swim for the ability, but it can also carry the move Attract. And Attract will only work if a Pokemon is the opposite gender to the one who's using it. So, actually, no, hang on. For Croconaw, I'm going to do a critical hit Shadow Rush, and on Mistreavers, I'm going to switch out for... Actually, actually no. I'll try and catch that Remoraid. So I think his catch rate is pretty good. Wow, I actually caught it. He's almost um, full health as well. All right, look, this is using agility to sharply raise its her speed. And a critical hit, Shadow Rush. You're down. Goodbye. Now, this is the reason why you have to save. Because you're dealing with a Shadow Remoray for Reef, but once you finish the battle. Hi, 
Pokemon could muster a thing. You're no ordinary trainer. Were you hired by Duking as his bodyguards? Let me warn you, if you mess with us, you'd better be prepared for the consequences. Yeah, once you beat Reef, you're then forced to battle Mere B. Peon Firma. And she has a Mantine and an Apalm. And Apalm is a really terrible Pokemon to deal with when he's against you. Uh, he'll see why. And yet, Shadow Pokemon number two, Mantine. Mantine is known as the Kite Pokemon. It's a water flying type. Same typing as um, Wingle. We can have a quad disadvantage to Electric. So by all means, watch out what you're doing. Uh, she was sh actually, no, she was confused for your Mantine actually, because Mantines are actually very hard to catch. And I'm not kidding. With Apalm though, Sometimes people can actually make a palm in his evolved form of Ampipalm in Generation 4 and onwards, carry the King's Rock or Razor Claw, give him the move Fling, and also give him the move Fake Out. So that way, Fake Out, Flinch, Fling, Flinch, U Turn, Escape. I really hate it when they do that. They do it with their Ampipalm every single time in the Battle Mason, and only Ruby Alpha Sapphire. I really hate it. Oh, I actually no, I best not use Surf because Mantine, so Mantine can have the ability Water Absorb. Which means, if a Water Type move is used on a Pokemon with the ability Water Absorb, they actually regain their health. And Mantines can really hurt this early in the game. Okay, good, he hurt himself. But he's still got a long way to go. As you can see, underneath Mante, now he actually... Whoa! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh. I don't even remember what I told Croconaw to use. Oh. Okay. I told Croconaw to use Bite, and he selfishly used Bite. Okay. But yeah, that's what happens if you use a normal move with a Pokemon who is in their Hyper Mode. You have to be careful when you do that. Right, let's use a Great Ball on Mantine. Mantine, sorry. I'm used to saying Mantine, but it's actually Mantine. Hard catch rate, my ass! That was on the first try! Nice! And that's why I recommend... That is why I actually recommend saving before you do this, because Mantine is the hardest Shadow Pokemon you're ever going to catch yet. And I managed to do it on the first try. How fitting. Uh, let's use Mokuhito actually, because we need to get his heart gauge down. Okay, there we go. I can actually... Um Call Croconaw out of his hyper mode now. And yeah, guess what? This trainer is actually using every single Pokemon besides Apalm that we have previously caught as a Shadow Pokemon. We have a Shadow Fuit and a Shadow Yanma in the PC. Oh, oh! Right, Shadow Brush on Yanma. Mokuhita has regained the move Vital Throw, which would be super effective on that Furent. And yeah, I completely forgot to mention, Apalm is a plain normal type. The only way you can evolve it into an Apalm in Generation 4 and onwards is if you make him learn the move Double Hit. Nice. Yanmo is down. If 
vital throw, more like vital punch. And um, on this turn, I'll call Croconaw and I'll finish off that for it. Right, Furry's is actually doing the sensible thing of using defense kill to raise his defense, but I think this is it. Yeah. What just happened? Unbelievable too! We let's make ourselves scarce for the time being. Right, so firma. Ultra Super Fire Dash! Wait. Thank you, you saved me. Do you people know duking? Yes. Okay, I'm a fool. I didn't know what was happening at all. They'd taken duking's Pokemon hostage. How could they do something so downright dirty? That's why we're here. We came to rescue Plusel. I'm going to... Ow. Not in your condition. You have to wait here. Whoa, we meet again, kitties! But me and me, you cowardly cheat! Cowardly cheat? That's so not true! Taking a hostage is perfectly fine as a bargaining tactic! You call that a tactic? Plus, so had better be okay! Oh, the darling couldn't be any safer if he tried! I'm sure he will come to adore me before too much longer! You've gotta be kidding! Where is it? Give it back! Whoa! No running or hiding for me! Come to the key, that's where I'll be! I'll be waiting for you, my pretties! Whoa! That for her was not in voice. Anyway, we've got another piece of homework here! Ian File, once again! Ian File S! Shadow Pokemon! A Shadow Pokemon is a Pokemon that has been made into a fighting machine by artificially shutting the door to its heart. What we didn't know is that the Shadow Pokemon exclude a dark aura that can't normally be seen by the human eye. Yeah, we got three Hyper Potions, okay? Next time we let a Pokemon card.